Thanks, Chris. The life of a migrant worker is not easy. They spend most of the year going from town to town and hoping for a good crop and a good season because the better the crop, the more money that they can make. Now it's stressful and it's tiresome for their families and for most of them it's the only work they've ever known. But the ones that I spoke with today said they wouldn't have it any other way. It's difficult, but when you gotta work, you gotta, you know, you gotta work. Every year, thousands of migrant workers arrive in Maine for the wild blueberry harvest. They're essential, they're crucial, and uh, any, any worker, any, any employer will tell you that without these workers, uh, they will not be in business. Bending over all day, having to lift those boxes, no, it's not easy at all. And uh, many people are not interested in doing that kind of work. You know. so I work in the corn, I work in the blueberries, you know, I do different stuff. <laughs> 24-year-old Angelina will take part in her fourth blueberry season. Her father's been doing this for almost a decade. He's always here. Every year, every year. He's always here. <laughs> Angelina and her family are part of what's called the Eastern Stream of Migrant Workers, who travel from Central Florida up the East Coast to Maine. One of the misconceptions is that people tend to say that they are taking jobs from the locals. Uh, that is not true. If you talk to the growers, they know that uh, everybody gets a chance to work. To receive services and assistance, each of the workers must present a valid ID or a work visa. At the Raker Center, workers can access resources such as legal and employment advice, medical care, and educational resources for kids. It makes it convenient and easy for the workers, particularly in the beginning when they're not working yet because they have traveled long distances and they get here, they have no food, they have no, nothing. We don't have a lot of help from the government, so when we come over here, we get the help with the food, you know, with the cars, different things. It, it's good for us. We move around, so when you don't have enough money to buy enough food, you come here, you they help you out a lot. So, to me, it's good. I didn't change anything. Now, some blueberry fields have already started hand picking, and for Angelina and her family and all the other workers that I spoke with today, they'll stay throughout the season, which will last about a month. Now, any workers that have questions, concerns, or would like to receive some assistance, they're encouraged to call the state's hotline for migrant and seasonal farm workers, and that number is 1 888 307 9800. And Chris, I'll send that back to you in the studio. Okay, thanks very much for that report, Samantha.